guys, this is Deepthi Kaba and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you cut crease on uneven eyes. Well, yes, I do have uneven eyes. If you can see, I have one eye as deep set and my right eye is a little hooded. So I always have problem doing my makeup. So today I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm using this Tarte Shape Tape in shade medium and just preparing the canvas. I've already done my brows guys. If you want me to have a tutorial just on how I do my brows because I have uneven brows as well. So just mention it below. I'm going to shoot for you. So as you can see I'm just carving up my uh, brows and with that concealer I just love this concealer and I'm using a flat brush. Guys I might use different brushes in both the eyes. So before I go further I want to tell you the I above you are seeing is the deep set eyes and the lower one is the <laughs> lower one is the uh, hooded eyes so I'm using this MAC um, loose powder and it's it's in shade NC20 and for my shades eye shades I'm using this pinky rose cosmetics volume 1 palette and I'm, as I can show you because they don't like you know mention the name so these are the shades i would be doing other than my lid color so these are the shades i'll be doing on my lower eyelid or the upper you know crease line and uh, yeah so please see that and uh, maybe you can check out online so now if you can see uh, upper one i am just going with my crease how i already have in the deep set but in the hooded eye, I have to create a crease, so that is why I am taking a little longer, but just to have an equal uh, time. So I have just uh, forwarded a little bit of either of the eye. So also the lighting is also a problem. Please, please, please uh, excuse me for that. So now I am blending the crease that I had done. So there are different ways that I'm. You can see I'm uh, blending both the eyes. The uh, one that is hooded eye, I have to just be very careful and I'm blending it upwards. Whereas uh, I am uh, blending very easily in my deep set eyes because it is going nowhere, touch wood. And I'm using the same colors that I showed you. Now I'm going deep into the uh, crease and just layering it up with darker color after each other. Now I'm going with the black and uh, I'm just creating a depth in my crease but if you are a beginner you guys can skip this step no problem. You can just practice till the darker color and just leave the black because black really is very tricky. So if you want to practice of course no problem. So I am again using the shades one after the other and blending. Now is the time guys I have not edited this full cut crease because I haven't seen anybody showing the like you know 1 to 10 everything about how I do my cut crease well um, cut crease is little uh, you know risky uh, so you have to be like very like you know patient for doing it and as you can see for my uh, deep set eyes I am just following the crease that set my eyes are like set deep inside so I'm just going with it and I always try to like you know start off with from the lashes and head towards the crease line where I want my end to be whereas uh, you can see in the hooded eye I am going right now you can see it is still not till the crease line but when I do my like you know chin up it showed that it was so that's always tricky for hooded eye so I did get a lot of inquiries on how to do a makeup on hooded eye and uh, here I am. So as you can see I'm just going very slowly in the hooded eye and I'm going further ahead because this is something like you are creating a crease line so you have to be very careful. So you can see I might stretch uh, my deep set eye because of course I have like a lot of skin there so it kind of doesn't give me that sharp line so I have to a little bit stretch and then I have to just fill it up and you know later on you can correct it with the lip color so it won't be visible I promise <laughs> all right so uh, after that I'm just slowly slowly adding on more concealer and guys you have to add a lot of concealer and I'm gonna tell you like you can just dry it up later on but this is a must-have so yeah so please uh, watch it very carefully and it's okay if you don't get it right at the first go even I didn't like I had 
so many mistakes i had like so many disasters with my bros and everything so for that i can talk to you once i'm doing my bro tutorial and again if you want a bro tutorial uh, then you can please mention it below and i'm gonna tell you everything from start to end my story of bros and how i achieved and i still feel i need to go like perfect i'm still nowhere close to perfect guys seriously i really have high hopes <laughs> with me so as you can see now i am just trying it out because otherwise it's gonna give a lot of patches so now i'm hooding, uh, hooding. <laughs> now i'm using huda beauty this shade again they have not mentioned the shade so i'm just showing it and i am using a flat brush and just patting it like it's very important for concealer to be set and dry because otherwise it's gonna you know add on a lot of patches so now i'm just being very careful but again it's easier once you have drawn the crease uh, like you've cut the crease so it's very easy to just fill them up now i'm using nyx chrome eyeshadow and it's in the shade um sunny day yes it's a beautiful pigment guys it has that spark and that oh my god now this step you can just skip i'm adding this uh, little golden bronze shade i didn't want my black to be like completely black so i've just added a base to it because i didn't want like a sudden change so that is why uh, you can see like my black is not jet black so um, you can just add on and just to give that smoky eye it's okay that messy thing we're gonna clean it up so um, I'm just drawing a smudgy liner because it's gonna give me it's gonna line up my eyes it's gonna give that sensual look and then of course uh, you know it helps in lashes as well so I am using a very precision eyeliner brush though but I am now again the beginners can skip this step I am defining my crease further I am just drawing and uh, I'm just going like I'm, I'm gonna blend it uh, with my crease color now you can see it's uh, it was faster in my deep set eye so I have just slowed down that <laughs> that um, uh, that video and it takes time for my and as you can see I'm blending it now uh, with a very small uh, blending brush and now I'm gonna clean up my uh, under eyes with the same concealer the tarte shape tape that i told you guys it's amazing it has such good coverage you need to apply like little also and it goes like way beyond your expectations and also for like girls who have dark circles plus they have lines so it's it's a holy grail i'm trying one new uh, product so i'm going to talk to you about it so now i'm setting it up with the same mac um, loose powder nc20 and uh, you can use any you can use a setting powder as well now guys i don't know many of you do it or not but i like to apply the concealer below my in the lower lash line because i want that color also to stand out so it really helps trust me try this trick it really helps and i'm using the same shades and my brushes are going tiny to tiniest to um, like you know have that precision in the shades and I'm doing the same process what I did at the crease line I'm adding the same shade now it's optional you guys if you don't want that your eye to be like highlighted on your face then you can skip this step now I'm using amazing kajal from uh, sugar it's called um, what's it called I forgot yeah it's a coal of honor intense kajal it's in shade uh, black blackout okay so I'm just using I'm using a darker lid as well again this trick also helps a lot it doesn't give that skin show and to just have that precision of the liner the smudgy liner and have that good gradients I'm doing that on the upper lid now I'm using Too Faced uh, better than sex mascara and it is so amazing guys I'm using this ABH highlighter this is my everyday highlighter guys now I'm using the Usher Lashes in Give Me More. This is the first lash brand I tied up with and I so love it. And of course, uh, if you want to know rest of the product that I've applied, uh, you can just check in the description box. Believe me, it's so amazing. So I hope you guys like this look and if you want more such tutorials, just let me know below. And please guys, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it so that I can I can be happy. Love you guys.